Well, this looks familiar. Welcome back to Blind Channel. I am here for the weekend, um, through Monday actually, leaving Tuesday to do the polling station out here. If you didn't know, if you haven't been following around, that is why I'm back. I just left Blind Channel a week ago today, and now I am back, but you know, that's okay. I like it out here. Um, didn't vlog my trip out here because it's pretty standard. I met up with the truck. We drove, we got on the boat, we came here. I forgot to change the battery, but it's fine, I do have a charged one. <laughs> Anyways, I'm here, this is my room that I was in all summer. It kind of sucks that I took it apart, like the bedding and stuff, because I have to make it today, but that's okay. So it's currently 5.30, I think I'll maybe make my bed, and then I will start making myself some dinner. I don't know if I have to work at all when I'm out here. Today, obviously, probably not. <laughs> There's one boat on the dock, um, but tomorrow maybe if it's busy, I doubt it though, but we will see. Maybe my boss will email me and be like, hey, can you do some work? So tonight though, it's all about me. So we're gonna make the bed and then um, food, that's the one. Good morning and welcome back. <laughs> I've had a very lazy morning this morning. I think it's like 10.30 or something. I didn't climb out of bed until, well, I woke up at like 6.30 because I had to pee. I was like, mm. So I got up at 8.30 because I was like, okay, fine. And I was like, mm, I'm gonna go back to bed. So I climbed out of bed at like 9, 9.30, I think. And I've just been in my PJs on the couch since then <laughs> watching a movie. And now I'm getting ready, just gonna get my socks on and I'm just gonna go back to the couch though. But I'm gonna be dressed in case anybody comes over so they can't judge because I'm dressed. But I think today's just gonna be a lot of doing not much um, until later today because we're gonna do like a preliminary setup of the um, election-y stuff because there's so much that has to go up. Like, like just all the signage and stuff. Obviously like the ballot box and everything we can't do until day of, but Everything else we can, I feel like Hagrid or something. You're a wizard, Harry. Anyways, um, <laughs> so like just the signage and stuff that we can put up, we're gonna put up tonight, I think, at like, ah! It's really hard to put on socks while also trying to vlog. You'd think I would wait and do one after, but nope. Anyways, I think we're gonna do that around like 7.30 or eight. I'm not sure. Um, but that's, that's the plan, but I'm gonna go back to my really sappy, um, movie that I'm watching. Like, I, I don't even know what it's about, because I haven't really been making attention to it, but we're gonna try. It's, um, kind of weird to be out here doing nothing, especially after coming off, like, two and a half months of doing so much. <laughs> um, and it's also kind of weird because I am the only one in this house, um, in the winter, obviously, there's less staff. My breakfast buddy is taking a couple weeks off because she's been out here since, like, last May with only, like, a week and a couple days off to leave in a in a while and she was serving this year and so she's taking a couple weeks off so she's not here my friend is out on the water right now and we're the only two people in this house right now so like it's really just me <laughs> and um it's probably very needed probably absolutely very needed it's um about quarter to 12 right now i'm just watching a really bad um like rom-com no I guess just romantic movie I don't know you know like the really bad ones where it's like oh it's like always has the same plot something comes up oh and then a boy comes in the picture and he helps everything and then everything goes south but then at the end everything's fine that's, that's the movie I'm watching <laughs> and there's a movie coming on after this that I'm pretty sure it's gonna be the same thing but soon I'm gonna make myself lunch and I think I'm gonna sweep because my friend did all the house laundry um yesterday from like 
everybody leaving. And he's like, today's sweeping and vacuuming day. So I think I'll sweep. I, I'll wait to vacuum until he gets home because if he wants his room vacuumed, I don't want to go in there um, without him here. So that's where we're at. At some point, I think I might go for a walk on the beach. I might also do some invoicing today if the internet is good enough to do it. Otherwise, I can do it tomorrow. And then I'm probably going to read through my um, CPS book. Oh, itchy nose. Um, just so I can remember what is I'm supposed to do because the training I went to was DRO specific, which is not my position, but you know, anyways, rambling, basically letting you know that I have done nothing today except change out of my pajamas and into my sweatpants, which is, which is good by me. All right. So it's, um, one now we've got plans for setup later tonight time. There's also, we're going to the one house for a potluck, I guess. <laughs> Everyone on property is going, I'm like, potluck, I don't have anything for a potluck. I only brought food for me, but it should be fine. And I am currently reviewing my um, Central Pole Supervisor guidebook because it's a little stressful. Like the integrity of elections is very important and I'm all stressed that I'm going to do something wrong, but I know it's going to be fine. But you know, like it's important because I just read that I have to call the office and say, yes, my singular a poll worker is here at a specific time. So I'm just kind of going through and, you know, figuring things out as we go. Um, and um, just trying to, you know, jog my memory because again, I did the DRO training, which is very important because I know how to do like the votes and stuff, but also it's very important to um, do this. Also it's different because last year we always had to have two people at the table, but because of COVID, now there's only one person at the table. And yeah, so anyway, so I'm just going through this. It's like 90 some odd pages, <laughs> 92 pages. I think I might actually have my guidebook from last year though, because I think I was like, I found it and I was like, mm, I'm gonna bring this. So let me check. I hear noises. It must be children. Oh, yes, it's my boss and his daughter digging. Anyways, I do have my thing from last year. So that's good. It's probably got all my notes in it. So yes. Anyway, so this is what I'm probably gonna be doing for like the next little while. Um, but yeah, it's so much different this year than it was last year. Interesting. Anyways. I'm sure it'll be fine. I am sure it'll be fine. <laughs> Alrighty, so I finished reading through my book. My brain hurts now. It's two o'clock. I'm slightly less stressed, but still kind of like, ah, and I know it'll be fine tomorrow. <laughs> it was fine last time. It'll be fine this time. Um, and so I think I'm gonna go for a walk now down to the beach, I think. Nothing big, just like get some fresh air, hang out. Get my boot on. Also, I look like such a frump in like my oversized sweatpants, but I don't even care. Let's go. Plot twist, it's raining suddenly. So, um, rain jacket it is. <laughs> I was hoping it wouldn't be, but what can you do? Okay, let's go now. Didn't even close the door. I wonder. There was a boat last night. I wonder if they're still here. Anyways, walkie time. Windows wide, the curtains fly to catch the evening breeze. Without you here to keep me warm, believe I'd rather freeze. Believe I'd rather freeze. And how long can we walk that line between the sea and sand? How long can we bide our time for dreams we never planned? For dreams we never planned. When the sky said the winter time is coming on, and you cry to see a shadow babe is growing long across the lawn. Song. It's 
Tuesday night, it's 3 a.m. I ought to be asleep. If only I could tell you all about the dreams I keep. Or about the dreams I keep. I wake up every morning and I'm wasted all the day. I turn it all around if I could only hear you say that you are here to stay. When the sky said the winter time is coming on And you cry to see a shadow bay is growing long Across the line, another song City glow. I still recall the nights when I could hear you breathing low, and I caught you breathing low. But it's too late to turn around, too cold to go outside. I wonder if I saw this love as anything beside another place to hide. When the sky said the winter time is coming on. Alrighty, I am back for my walk, and honestly, I've been back for a while. It is currently. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Come on, watch. 10 after 4, so I have to head down to the store in about 50 minutes, but my food schedule has gotten so messed up because I knew I, I, knew I was here for. Was it two dinners, three dinners, because I ate last night, three dinners, and then three lunches and four breakfasts. So I planned everything out, but then my boss was like, oh, we're gonna have a potluck over at the one house tonight. So it'll be like burgers and salads and stuff. And I was like, okay, I'm like, well, I don't have anything to bring. And they're like, that's fine. <laughs> but now I'm like, I have too much food. <laughs> so anyways, I'm gonna eat right now because we're not gonna eat till like 6.37 and I'm, I have a headache, so I'm gonna have some of my Annie's, <laughs> which I love, obsessed with it. And um, hope that part of, that's part of the reason that I have a headache. I think it's also just been like sitting around doing nothing, watching a screen all day, and probably also not drinking enough water. So I think there's plenty of reasons why I have a headache. So I'm gonna try to <laughs> rectify those with food, maybe walking around a bit in the house, water. <laughs> also, I like checked the dishwasher because it was flashing. So I was like, oh, it must have been cleaned. And so I, I pulled <laughs> one of the dishes out because I was gonna put them away. It's a wine glass and it had mold on it. So it clearly had not been cleaned properly. So just running it with an express, wa express wash because there's not too much in it and then put them away later. Trying to, trying to keep everything clean now that there's just like two of us here because it'll be very apparent who made the mess. So that's what we're doing. And um, yeah, just wandering around, getting ready to go. And then, yeah, like I said, later tonight, we're doing that potluck. So I'm gonna like get out my sweatpants for that and like into like the only pair of real pants I brought, um, <laughs> which should be good. So the power keeps going out and it's super annoying. I mean, it's like, it's gone out. I think three times today. Um, there's an issue with one of the generators, I guess. Um, and so we have four generators. And in order to, you know, work on one, you have to turn it off. And then you got to turn on another one. And then once you're ready to go back to that one, you have to go back to it. So that's why we sometimes have multiple power outages. Like an oil change requires <laughs> turning off the one you need to oil change on, turning on the one beside it and then repeating the process. But anyways, my elections uh, contact just called me and he was like, oh, it's soaking wet, it's raining so hard, blah, blah, this. 
and I was like, oh really? Like it's super sunny here and it truly is. Like it's just turned into an absolutely gorgeous day. Like look at this, it's so nice. I love it. It's so peaceful, although a boat did come in. I heard them, you can, that white spot right there, that's the boat. <laughs> Anyways, I could like hear them radio and my friend answered them and they did not respond and they did not respond and they did not respond <laughs> and then it's a while and then all of a sudden I just hear them go back up, back up, back up and I'm like, oh, what is happening down there? Um, chaos, seemingly chaos, so that's fun. I could probably go down to the store to see if they need to like check in or anything, but I got radios here so he knows that um, and he could have called because like legitimately I have radios here. <laughs> this is the one that's normally in the store. I'll probably bring it down. And I think tomorrow would be great to have two radios. Um, so if one of us needs to leave the polling station, we can easily get in touch with each other. Last time we did it, it wasn't so bad because we, there was a phone in the house I was staying in, but there isn't a phone in this house. So I think radios will work well enough if need be. But I think honestly, I'm probably just gonna spend most of the day in there, which will be very boring because I can't vlog in a polling site because you can't vlog and you can't take pictures. No video, no pictures. So tomorrow, I mean, it's gonna be boring. I'll be able to pick up the camera probably when I come for lunch, but that'll be about it. But yeah, it's currently about 20 to five. So very shortly here, I should get ready to go. I'm just gonna finish this water, I guess. My, my brain hurts a little bit less with the food and the water, which is a good thing, but still not feeling the greatest. All right, so home again, home again. Headache is still kind of here, but at least we're set up for the election. Um, there was a panic for a bit. First of all, I was like, where the heck are the ballots? They're kind of important. <laughs> and then I found them. And then the second panic was, um, where's the voters list? <laughs> like, it's like super important and like we went through everything and then we went through everything again and we couldn't find it and then finally I like went through like page by page of everything and the thing was is I was expecting it to be like its own sheet by itself but they had stapled it into a booklet so that's where it is but now I have my bag packed for tomorrow so I've got a book I've got all the random training books that I have been given. I've got this bag has the ballots in it and like the voters list and all that kind of stuff. So keeping it safe in here, even though in all fairness, it would likely all be very safe in the polling station slash store. I would rather just have it here to make sure that, you know, there's no questions. Everything is all good. Um, and now it is currently a time. Wow, phone, not phone, there we go. It's 6.02, um, my friend is just showering. I'm gonna change out of my sweatpants and into these fun red pants because they're the only non-sweatpant pants that I have here. And then we're gonna head over to my boss's for um, our potluck tonight, which I think is burgers. I think we're just having burgers, so that should be good. I'm gonna change. And at this point now, I'll probably see you afterwards. Alrighty, it was a really fun night. It's like 10 o'clock now, I have to get up 11, 12. If you have like seven and a half hours, there's no way I'm getting to sleep immediately. So I'm gonna go and um, I'll try to check in as I can tomorrow, which probably won't be a lot, but you know, it is what it is. <laughs> good night. Good morning, good morning, welcome. Welcome back to the vlog. It is currently 5.43. I'm so glad the polling station is close. <laughs> I slept for about five hours, which is what I expected. Um, would love more, but it is what it is, and I'm just uh, catching up on Instagram while I wake up, having my breakfast drink, then I'll get dressed here shortly. It's supposed to rain, like, most of the day, so I think I'm just going to wear sweatpants and a sweatshirt. <laughs> Not that I have choices. You, like, I can't wear my red pants because wearing my red pants could be perceived as supporting the Liberal Party because their color is red and so I can't wear them. So I'm wearing my gray sweatpants and I'll probably bring this, wear this gray sweatshirt and then I'll have my rain jacket because it's gonna rain. Um, but yeah, so that's, that's where we're at. <laughs> it was a lot easier to wake up than I thought it was gonna be. Like I was, I was pretty conscious. Let's, lighting is terrible and I am aware. Anyways, that's better, but I forgot what I was saying because that was too many seconds ago. Um, 
So yeah, anyways, like, it was easier for me to wake up than I thought it was gonna be. Like, I went on the first alarm of the, like, <clears throat> 15 I set. I set my first alarm for 5.30, and then my last alarm was set for, like, 6.30, which is when I'm supposed to call in to be like, yes, we are all set up and ready to go, which we're pretty much all set up. I just have in my bag here the, like, ballots and stuff like I was mentioning yesterday. This stuff you got to make sure stays safe. And, um, yeah, the only thing we have left to do is to tape up and seal the ballot box, write down the control numbers for the seals, and then um, tra transfer ballots from my possession to the DRO. So not much left to do because <sighs> we put all the signs up last night and laid out all the forms and stuff. So it should be okay. But yeah, I'm just going to finish waking up, finish this, and then I really should get dressed because it is like quarter two and while it only takes me like two to three minutes to walk down there it takes me a little bit longer than that to get dressed so um this is goodbye for now <laughs> i'll see you when i can pick up the camera later on because like i said can't film in a polling site so good mid-afternoon it is uh 2 30. i think everybody's voted that's gonna vote there's a couple people left that might come, but highly doubt it um, from past performances. <laughs> so I am back in the house. I'm making myself some lunch over. Where's the stove? There's the stove. Just boring hot dogs. That's all we're doing, but it's quick and it's yummy. <laughs> so, so I figured that was the easiest thing. I am recharging my phone because, you know, it's um 36%. I can charge it in the store technically because we replaced our computer with an iPad this year, but I figured give a bit of a charge here. I'm gonna bring my computer down as well. Oh, look at the blur. The blur is crazy. Um, <laughs> I have problems. I'm gonna bring my computer down as well so I can um, just not get bored because I've been on my phone all morning and I'm, I'm getting sick of it. So I'm gonna bring my computer down. I've got like a couple shows on there and stuff too. So that should be good and then um, really, I think it's just gonna be the waiting game now. So once I get back, my boss is gonna go for her break. And then, um, then we'll just wait. Then we'll just wait. It was, it was a very slow morning <laughs> from seven until just before nine, we saw one person. <laughs> and then after that, they kind of came really nicely, like every hour. So it was like, we had like an hour and 20 minutes kind of between each voter and it was like perfect because last time I did it, like four people showed up at the same time, which when you only have like eight people voting, which was what was the case last year, four people is a lot, <laughs> but yeah, it was good. But I'm going to focus on feeding myself now because I'm hungry and also I don't get to eat now until like probably 8.30 tonight. So that'll be fun, but maybe I'll pick up the camera before I head back down maybe well who knows shoot i am really tired i am home now obviously this is mikasa i did not pick up the camera last night because it's just i always find packing everything up like there's just so much that has to go in certain bags and the instructions aren't always the clearest and so like i was just so stressed i was like oh my god did we get it wrong we were missing some things um for the pack up process, which was also very stressful. And so, yeah, so stressed, so hungry by the time I finished. Like I didn't eat until like almost nine o'clock, I think that was my dinner time. And then I had to pack and all that fun stuff. And I didn't get to sleep until like after midnight. And I'm very tired today. It is currently like 20 after nine. I am at home, obviously. Um, I'm packing up my bag for work um, <laughs> because I have to go to work and I'm just waiting for um, it to be closer to 10 um, to go down to bring the election stuff in because they're going to be there at like 10. So that's where we're at. My contact said if they weren't there for some reason um, at 10 to just call him and he'll come down. But I think I wait till 10 and then I'll go into work and then hopefully, hopefully I can get away with less than um, four hours of work today. Hopefully, like, it won't be too bad. <sighs> I don't know. 
So that's where we're at. I am like going cross-eyed. I am so exhausted. And then as soon as I get home, I'm going to have a nap. So that's great plans for today. I'm going to go now because I need to, I need to change my shirt. I need to find a shirt to wear to work. I need to not be wearing two pairs of socks, um, et cetera, et cetera. And, um, I need to also stay conscious cause I can, I can feel myself like just drifting. And, um, yeah, I, with that, I'm just, I'm going to go and I will uh, see you in the next one. Thanks for being here. Subscribe if you aren't already. Bye. Bye. <laughs>